Well, we have the pleasure and the honor of visiting here with uh, Morgan Denson. Dang. First of all, Morgan, just let me thank you for being one of those that took the risk, came down. Uh, you know, you're talking, you're not sure about the degree program here, you know, that what hours are going to transfer, whole new program, the whole work. So, it's, you know, you took a heck of a risk. So, first of all, just thank you for that. Then, And then just... Um, a little bit about you now that G, uh, you know, our starter last year at heavyweight, really as a freshman, because you had, you, you know, you've gone through a lot of adversity as far as injuries and those kinds of things. But coming on last year, getting, a, you know, really a full year of wrestling, which you haven't really been able to compete really for almost two full years, right? It's about three years actually. About three years. So I think getting that year under your belt and. And you have, you have changed yourself. Let me tell you, I want to just commend you for your work ethic this summer. Because I think from the time that the season ended until now, you have been putting doing all you can to get stronger, uh, just, you know, to just build yourself up. And I think I see you as, honestly, 25% better. Not only just the physical part of it, but just the mental part of it. I think you're so much more ready for the season but talk about that a little bit, you know, the transition, and, and then we'll get into the degree thing. But just, first of all, just what you've been doing this summer. Uh, after regionals last year, uh, I didn't do so well. I went, I went going to, went out, and then I had never been so disgusted with myself in a performance in wrestling, I think, as long as I can remember. And... Um, I think it just took that one thing and, and it clicked. It said, I, I'm done with this. I'm done being average. I'm done being mediocre or less than mediocre. I'm going to put the time and the effort in. And so uh, the first day back, Aaron and I, my brother, who's a coach here too, hit the weights and said, no looking back. Uh, it doesn't matter where we start because it matters where we end. And the end's not even in sight. Uh, I went from 271 pounds at the beginning of the season last year to uh, barely breaking 230 now and I'm trying to get up to 260 in a, a body fat or without body fat and um, I think I was at like a 28% body fat last year and this year I'm at I think like 14, 15. Uh, the lifting and then eating right has been the biggest factor. Uh, you know, you can lift all you want, but if you don't eat right, it's not going to help. Uh, stick with uh, chicken every day, boneless chicken, breast, boneless chicken breasts, uh, no more eating out, no more pop, no more candy, just focus. Um, m makes me feel better. I have a ton more energy. I actually want to get up and go to class, and I enjoy getting up early. I get up around 8 o'clock on my own without an alarm about every day, and uh couldn't be happier with myself and where uh, the potential that I could have this season. Well, and I what I've seen too is you, you talked about a little bit, but you just came in with you, well, first of all, just went to work, but you you, you tremendous attitude about it, and you said, I, I, you know, putting everything I can into it, and I see just a real positive kind of attitude. You should really be enjoying your classes mm -hmm. and. And, and you know that that's infectious for our team. You're becoming a leader on our team, really. I mean, uh, uh, and so I, I commend you again for that. But talk a little bit about now about your degree, your classes. You seem to really be connecting with the criminal justice. Uh, yeah, I was pre-med at the old institution, and I did pretty well in that. But uh, it didn't fit in with what I wanted to, to do. My overall goal was to always want to help people. And that was the main focus, but. Having a mundane job where I do the same thing day after day was just not in the cards. So I, I thought about it, did some research, kind of did some soul searching, and um, I actually talked to one of the old wrestlers, Zach Stalder, about it quite a bit, about why he chose to be a police officer, and he told me it's the greatest decision he's ever made. And I said, okay. And I looked into that, and I looked a little harder, and I found what I the fit. You know, I was Googling and stuff, and I found a U.S. Marshal. And I was like, wow, that's ex that's it. That's exactly what I want to do. No questions asked. So mm -hmm. I came in here full steam ahead, and I'm not looking back. I'm, I'm in love with the program here. The criminal justice mm -hmm. program is 
by far one of the best I've seen around. So. You seem to really be enjoying the classes, your professors and connecting with them and that kind of They're not just professors. They they were in my shoes at one point, so that's what I like about, mm -hmm. about it. They're not sitting up there just lecturing on a PowerPoint. They're letting us get out in the field and try everything. Um, one class with Jerry and Brant, we got to actually go and do the physical testing that they would do in the police academy and getting really hands-on and understanding what the law means, when the law means. We got to do a um, mock car side stop. So we got to go to a police station, we got to pull a fake car over, and we had to go through scenarios of what oh, was wow. going to happen. It was, it was fun. And, and one of your, is a detective, right? One of your professors? Yeah, my, my, his name is Crocker, uh, De Detective Crocker. And uh, he works for St. Louis County Police Department and is a detective there. So it's, yeah. it's pretty cool. They're all, and Jerry Ann was once a police officer. Her husband's on a tactical force, and her daughter's a police officer. And they all come in and talk all the time. And it makes you excited to be yeah. a police officer. And well, I think, you know, the excitement of you kind of being on track with your degree and just how much better you're feeling with your strength and watching you wrestle, you're doing some things. I honestly, more I, I you know, I guess it, you know, it's hard to predict how, but you're you're going to have some success this year, <laughs> and you deserve it. I mean, you've you've worked for it, you deserve it, and you've been through some, you know, some adversity. But I think you're kind of putting all that together now and using that to, mm -hmm. you know, to say, hey, you know what, uh, making the most out of your opportunities. It's going to be my quote of the year. Um, I think it's William A. Howard said, adversity causes men some to break and some men to break records. And I think that mm -hmm. fits exactly with, mm -hmm. in practice, I'm not worried about um, winning or losing right now. I'm I'm trying to figure out my style, what the size I am now. Because I didn't know, last year I didn't know. <laughs> it was just a guess. This year I'm kind of refining what I want to do. And right. if, I, if it doesn't work, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one real strength of yours has always has been watching you wrestle you know, through the years is just, you, you just wrestle really smart and very good at just kind of figuring out what some, you know, kind of the strengths mm -hmm. and the weaknesses of, and even during a match, not many can do that. You know, they might be able to figure out by watching film and that kind of thing, but you can actually figure out just, you know, kind of where their weaknesses are and, and attack those during a match, which, and the thing is, heavyweight's a whole different game, isn't it? It's oh, a whole different 100%. game. And it's, so much of it is tactics and strategy. You know, just being smart and wrestling smart, and that's gonna that's gonna work for you as well as the added strength and stuff that you got. Uh, yeah, I, I would ultimately like to be about two sixty with about fifteen percent stronger than what mm -hmm. I am now, which is might take up until December to get there, and then I'm gonna keep going forward from there. But I couldn't be happier with how I feel. I mean, mm -hmm. trying to move a three hundred pound guy when I was. As weak as I was last year was a lot harder than this year, which it's still hard. 300 pounds is 300 pounds, but um, it gives you a certain amount of confidence along with everything that's going on. So, well, guys, I want to wish you a great season and and just thank you for for actually being a great example for guys just saying just doing everything you can to make yourself better academically as well as. You know, in the practice room. Anybody you want to shout out to? Uh, of course. Uh, my daughter, uh, Leah Marie. Oops. <laughs> thank you so much, Morgan. You know, we appreciate you. So thank you. Thanks for the interview. You did a great job. Thanks, Coach.